All right, welcome back for part two there, folks. Um, before I get showing you some some more jQuery goodness, uh, I want to show you what this looks like in JSBin, and I know some of you might prefer JSBin, and that's fine. Notice that um, up here, there's all, all sorts of things, and usually we just used a couple, right? Just J Jav the JavaScript and the console, usually, right? That's what we were doing in JavaScript, but... Um, now that we're affecting all all of these things, we can be using all these screens at the same time. So, for instance, here I have my HTML, which has an a, uh, it has an H1 and it has a P, and the H1 is not displayed for a reason I'll, I'll tell you later. And then there's my first uh, jQuery command, and notice that it's got the jQuery library added to it, so that's all good. Um, and so it knows what the dollar sign means. And then when I run this, it doesn't look like it does anything, but the console does have, uh, should have hello for there. Yeah, there it goes, hello, or hello world. Um, there it is. So this is what it looks like in, in um, JS bin, where you can see kind of all three of your files and the output all in one thing. It's kind of slick that way, but everything's a little squished as well so i'll leave that up to you what you want to do and now for some jquery goodness um but first i want to kind of talk to you again about about the the general philosophy here the general philosophy be, behind jquery is that we always have this command sort of wrapping around all of our web page stuff so we're not going to do anything until the web page is is ready to to be loaded and then these are some general syntaxes. So uh, we have a command HTML dot event. Now the events we'll see in a second, but but we're going to have this HTML waiting for something to happen. For instance, for it to be clicked on, or for the mouse to go over, it, whatever. And then inside there, we're going to have a function that says what to do what element we want to affect and what we want to actually do to that element um, and we'll see some examples soon um, and let, let me well let me get to an example i'm not going to show you the example from the note yet but i'll show you an example in either js bin or or um notepad plus plus so i'm going to get rid of my console.log and so for instance um what I could do, and the, the, the book does this right away, or the uh, Code Academy does this, they add some HTML. This is my HTML. They add a button, and it's just an HTML tag, a button. And I'll show you right now what that looks like. Did I goof this up? Yeah, there's nothing going on in my, but I gotta save it. I'm gonna save this, show you that my button actually shows up. Right, there's my button doesn't do anything the console logs not doing anything but for instance what we might want to do is have when that button is clicked on so when that button now it's an HTML element and so the dollar sign points towards uh, HTML it's in quotes so it's I know it's HTML and I want I'm waiting for it to be clicked on well what do I want it to do? I want it to do something. I want it to do another function where in here, then I'm going to, what am I, what do I want to do? Well, let's say I want to do something like to all the, um, the, the paragraphs. Maybe I want to hide them. And so this is an event in jQuery that when this button is clicked on, it's going to hide the P's. So let me save that. Show you that that's going to work. Looks the same so far, right? But when I click on that, bam, gone. It hit it. That's pretty cool. Notice it only works once because it's gone now. But um, And so I, I can sort of combine effects and HTML elements uh, to make some pretty neat stuff. So for instance, 
maybe that H1 that I wasn't I wasn't um, displaying right in my CSS my H1 was not displayed display none then when it's clicked maybe I want to show that title now for fun refresh my page still looks the same so when I click on this then it's going to hide those two things and show the title. Pretty, pretty cool. And you can see how if you combine the right number of clicks and uh, and HTML elements, that you could probably end up with some pretty cool effects. Um, great. Uh, a jQuery element can act on itself. And an object, when it wants to refer to itself, you'll remember, uses the word, the keyword, this. So now, what what it's going to do? It's going to hide that, show that, and fade that, and fade uh, the button out. And these are all effects. Save that. Show you that that works. Refresh. So I'm going to click on the button. And did you see it fade out? It went pretty fast. Right? It faded out pretty fast. And in fact, one of the things that you'll get used to is you can you can um, change the effects by adding parameters in here. And we'll talk about where you'd find which ones you can put parameters in in a moment. Um, but this one here, I know, is in milliseconds. So this is actually two and a half seconds it'll take to to, to fade out. If I go back to this and then refresh, it's waiting for me to click. I click on it, and then it's going to fade out. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, and notice that everything sort of hinged on the button there, right? Well, what happens if I didn't want to do that? Well, I can add all sorts of sorts of things. So, for instance, I took out my my paragraphs, and maybe... I'm going to wait for them to be clicked on. And when I click on them, I'm going to run another function that does something. Remember, the, what, 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 what is it going to do? Well, whatever's in the curly brackets here, I'm going to get it to hide. Oh, you did that before. Well, what it's going to happen, it's, it's waiting for the paragraphs themselves to be to be clicked on. So if I save this, refresh, I click on the button, it's it's going to show the title. But remember, I took the, the, the P's out there, the button faded out. And now if I click on the P's, that, that, now they'll disappear. That's pretty cool. You click on the button, it's going to show the H1, fade out the button, it's gone. And now I can click on these to get them gone. Pretty neat. And I can add any number of, of these sorts of things. Now, you're saying, okay, uh, Restal, where did you get these effects? Oh. These effects, um, I've posted on Edmodo some cheat pages. And, of course, you can always just use Google to, to search for this. But the somebody's here, the dog's barking. On Edmodo, I've posted some pages, and they're cheat pages, and this lists all the number of events and effects that you can use in your jQuery command. So notice I used fade out. There's something called fade to, and notice there's some, some different um, parameters in there. So I, I want to show you that. So instead of fade out, watch the fade to. In two seconds, may I'll speed it up, make it on two seconds, fade it to 0 0.25, so 25% of its opacity. That means how, how much you can see or not. So I'm going to save that and run that so you can see what's going on. Click it, and notice that it fades out, but it's not quite gone. It faded to 25% of its opacity. That's pretty cool. Um, 
back to the the sheet there and there's all sorts of stuff I can see there's different events so the only one that I've used so far is that one click there's a double click there's a you know a whole bunch of different ones the the one I want to show you that's pretty neat is is the mouse over one is pretty cool and you you're gonna gonna get a chance to experiment on these but um, instead of click let's let's say mouse over and I'm gonna save that and see that effect All right, so the button still had a click, so I can still click on the button. Oh, did you see that? It went so fast. As soon as I moused over that that P, it disappeared. Bam, gone. So fast as well. And again, you're going to play around with, uh, with the parameters to see if you can get it to hide slower or whatever, that sort of thing. Um, Back to the note, I've got this note in, there are bits and pieces of these examples in here. So not exactly the same thing, but you can see I had uh, the this button was waiting to be clicked on. And when it clicked, it did this function. You know, it had a function and it did this stuff. It did those two things. It can happen on itself. It can affect other elements in your, in your web page. And we can have any number of these, like I said. One thing I want to mention there, functions don't have to be embedded. Oh, the lookup parameters. There, I said change effects. I did that. Lookup parameters was this idea: is on the cheat sheet. On the cheat sheet, we can see um, that some of them I can have a, a a show without any parameters, or I can have some parameters in there. And don't be afraid to just um, put in jQuery show examples into Google and it'll stuff will come up for you to have have some examples about how it works and don't be afraid to ask and there'll be stuff on this page that we won't get to by the way but but during the unit we'll see all sorts of fun stuff um, the last thing I wanted to mention was this this functions don't have to be embedded so it does look pretty confusing because I got this function and then inside this function I have a function and inside that function I got another function is that I can unravel that a little bit if 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 it helps me so for instance um, this is the entire function right bam it's it's the function that I'm running um, but if I wanted to call it some name and now it's just a JavaScript now it's just a JavaScript function. I got to put a, uh, an e whoops, an end bracket there. Uh, let's see, I goof something here. Well, that's that one. That's the end of that one. And then I also want the end of this one. Oops. That see that this one ends that one. So this is my function called whatev. Uh, I think that one's the end of the mouse over, and that one is the end of this function. So so now, if I just wanted to unravel the embeddedness a little bit, I could have a command that looks like this. So when the document's ready, it's going to run this function, and these functions are just it's just JavaScript, right? So it has the same structure as all the other JavaScript that we've had um, and that might that might make it a little easier to read for you or not you could in I you know in Code Academy because they don't provide any of the background of JavaScript that you have they embed everything embed 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 and it says just just make it look like this well they're just functions whatever is just a function right and it, and and so that means if I wanted to make it a little more readable this is actually the command that gets run, but when does it get run? Whatev gets run when the document's ready. And similarly, I could figure out ways to take these out, right? And I call this button click whatev too, or you know, you know, when clicked or whatever I would like to call my functions. And in that way, I can make my code more readable and more reusable. All those reasons why we learned to write functions last year in grade eleven. So we can do that. I want to uh, warn that Code Academy doesn't. They just embed, 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 embed. Everything is—it's like a big, uh, 
a basket inside of a basket inside of a basket, and it gets pretty complicated. If, if you indent, you should be able to read it okay. All right, back to finishing off the note. It says, the button tags are a new HTML that was included in the Code Academy track in this section, and it was fun. That was fun. Um, and essentially, that's how we're going to end our course, our, our 4C course, is talking about all sorts of these things in Unit 4, which is uh, on GUI. GUI stands for Graphical User Interface. User Interface means more clicking and more dragging and more interaction. So that's that's how we're ending our course. All right, I think there's some exercises for you to do. Have fun. Do all sorts of goofy stuff to your web pages. Make stuff show up and mouse over and you try the key press events and all that sort of thing. And don't be afraid to, to ask for help. Rec my